8th of July, it's chest day today, still doing that German volume training. Yesterday was the first session I had where mentally it got challenging. I got to my fourth set of my bent over rows and I thought, how can I do this anymore? But then no, shut up, got it done, finished it off. That was tough. Up for some chest today, 10 sets of 10 with my little friend. Let's go and get it done. do YouTube videos the more I actually enjoy the actual editing side to it so filming the workout is great but then trying to put something catchy clicky saying sharp together I actually really enjoy the process just take a couple of hours but I feel it worth I feel it's worth it it gives it a bit more character but I still want to make this a useful channel not just something pretty with a little flashy music and everything put together so we're gonna go over the tips from my workout that you just watched so I know you've probably seen a million tips on a dumbbell chest press, but the most, one of the most common exercises. I just want to run through how I would approach it and how I would do it. And you can take it, leave it, and you can try it yourself. If you notice when I'm doing the dumbbell chest press, I am bringing my elbows not fully tucked in, but a little bit more than what you usually would see with the elbows stuck right out. I feel it does take a little bit of pressure off my front deltoid. Especially because during the week my shoulders took a pounding when I trained them. They were a little bit tender. So when I was doing the chest press to get that squeeze and contraction, I brought it into like a half hammer style as well. So bringing the elbows down slightly, bringing it up and then squeezing the chest together. So you can see from the lovely angle of this chest press as we filmed it, we are actually in a bent over row position when we were actually performing the exercise. It felt like a really, really good chest contraction. It allowed us to open up our chest fully and bring them together, giving that, that some width exercises in there. Um, it's pretty in the, the main flat part of the chest, no incline, no decline. Um, it just felt comfortable. We'll give it a go, guys, and see how you feel. I haven't got this machine in my gym, so when I come to this gym, I like to use different machines. So this was a plate-loaded chest press, and for some reason it just felt really, really comfortable with a close grip. I felt like I got more of a contraction, more of a squeeze, took a bit more pressure on my front deltoid and it allowed me to bring it up and really squeeze the uh, incline part of the chest. Obviously you can do this as a wide grip to emphasize more of the chest width but on more of the outer chest for me on the day felt really good with a close grip so give it a go see how you feel see where you feel the contraction. 
are you currently following and if it fits your macro style of dieting if you are then you have to try some cinnamon and raisin bagels oh my god they are good i mean really good i occasionally have them with peanut butter and strawberry jam and nothing comes close in the morning i like my oats but this is a new ball game so give it a go okay guys that's the end of the video lastly i want to just say that I am probably going to start my cut or shred a little bit earlier than expected. I feel like I might have gained a little bit too much body fat during this little period off, mainly from probably going on holiday and just being more social, going out with people, but I don't regret it. Um, I had a great time on holiday, seeing friends and family, being able to eat more, the odd drink here and there. I've enjoyed my time, so it's fine. But yeah, I'm probably going to start bringing my calories down after next week, bring them down to maintenance level and then start to creep and tailor it off. Pretty give myself like a 14 week prep, something like that. That's what I'm doing. If you like the video today, the layout, how the workout's put together, leave me a little comment, give it a thumbs up and then definitely subscribe. See you soon.